Fingers crossed, let I hope it works. Hey, I told you guys come hell at high water night. I hey gold rush enthusiasts gather around because today's story is something you won't believe it's a tale full of suspense drama and the kind of twists that would make even the most seasoned TV show writers take notes. We're diving deep into the heart of a controversy that has rocked the gold. Rush community and at the center of it. All is none other than the legendary Tony Beats, but this time it's not about gold, it's about something much more. Crucial water and folks, this story might just change everything you thought you knew about the man they call the Viking. Let's rewind a bit picture this 2017. The Yukon The Gold Rush crew is filming what was supposed to be just another. Thrilling episode, but what unfolded was far from ordinary. It was a stunt that would make headlines spark debates and potentially haunt Tony Beats for years to come. We're talking about the infamous Viking funeral now for those of you who may not know a Viking funeral is an ancient ritual, a fiery send-off for the brave but Tony Beats, never one to shy away from making a scene, decided to put his own spin on it on that fateful day. His welder Mark Favron was wrapping up his final shift, and what better way to go out with a bang than to stage a Viking funeral right there on the beats. Claim, but here's where things went from bold to downright reckless favorun with Tony's go-ahead poured gasoline into a nearby pond, then like a scene straight. Out of a movie, another crew member said. It ablaze the water, the flames, the celebration, oh, it was a spectacle all. Right, but here's the kicker, it was also completely illegal, yes, you heard that right what was intended as a dramatic. Send-off turned into a legal nightmare. The water was polluted, the fire rage. And soon it wasn't just the flames that were out of control, it was the fallout. Mark Favorin got slapped with a $1,725 fine after pleading guilty, but that was just the beginning Tony Beats. The masterman behind the scene faced even graver consequences under the Yukon. Waters Act, imagine this for a moment. Your Tony Beats, you've built a reputation as a fearless leader, a man who tames the wilds of the Yukon in search of gold, but now you're standing in Yukon Territorial Court, not for a mining infraction, but for pollution, the very thing that fuels your operation. Water has now become the source of your greatest legal challenge, and the whole world is watching Brendan Mulligan. A senior water quality scientist with the Yukon government didn't mince words when he testified gasoline. He said is full of toxins and carcinogens substances. Dangerous not just to humans, but to all forms of life. This wasn't just a stunt. Gone wrong, it was an environmental hazard. Fast forward to today, and the ripples of that Viking funeral are still being felt. As Tony Beats fights to secure a crucial water license for his drudges, many believe that this single incident might be the very thing standing in his way. You see, water licenses in the Yukon are no small matter. They are the lifeblood of any mining operation, and without them, Tony's entire empire could be in. Jeopardy, a recent discussion on Reddit, brought this issue back into the spotlight. Fans of the show are torn. Some are rallying behind Tony, even suggesting that a petition could help sway the decision, but others are more skeptical, pointing out that no amount of fan support can erase the past one commenter didn't hold back saying pouring gasoline into a pond and setting it on fire for a TV show probably isn't a good idea if your company relies on water permits and they're not wrong Tony's track record. With land reclamation after mining operations has also come under scrutiny, like Parker Schnebel who has been recognized for his responsible practices. Tony's reputation in this area is less than stellar with all this baggage. It's no wonder people are questioning whether Tony will ever get the water license he so desperately needs. So here we are, years after that fateful Viking funeral, still asking the same question did Tony. Beats moment of Viking brevet who cost him. His future in the Yukon, could it be that the fire that roared so triumphantly that day has now become the blaze that threatens to burn down his empire. I want to hear from you, the true Gold Rush fans. Do you think Tony Beats will overcome this hurdle and secure his water license? Or do you believe that his past mistakes have finally caught up with him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get this conversation going and remember if you enjoyed this video hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss an update on all. The latest gold rush drama of this story isn't over yet, and you're not going to want to miss what happens next.